Hello, hello, everybody popping in. Hello. Thanks for joining. Just getting things started up here. I want to make sure everybody can hear as you guys are popping in to do my second interview of today. We got another lovely lady to be interviewed for today. Make sure you guys like and share the content as it's most important to be about the person I'm interviewing, not necessarily about my stream and myself. Yay, I love all those new sounds I have. I don't know if you guys like them or not. I like them. <laughs> I can't help it. I really like them. <laughs> all right. So as we're getting started, I just want to say happy Halloween to my U.S. Uh, friends and then uh, just happy holidays to those around the world watching, popping in and sharing the content. Um, so we're going to get started. And uh, today I have somebody very special to say hello to. And uh, oh, it looks like I need to, to fix my screen here real quick. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this going. That's an ugly blue screen, right? That hasn't happened to me in a little while. <laughs> All right. Get a couple other things clicked on here. There we go. Okay. If it may be fixed here. Omega there we underscore go. nightmare 19. What is up, nightmare? Said, I don't think I could be friends with someone that doesn't like the sounds. <laughs> right? All right. So, this beautiful evening in Population One, actually, for me, it's not evening, but for this person, it might be. Um, I am interviewing the very wonderful, the very lovely, highly recommended. Papillon de Fur. Hello! How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, Tipsy, how are you? I'm, really I'm good. doing how great. Are you? I'm doing great. What time is it where you're at right now? Uh, the time is 6.36 p.m. Tea Beautiful. time. Beautiful. I, I think that the uh, Population One family knew or something because they brought in the evening for our lovely stroll of our interview time. <laughs> Absolutely, they did. Yeah, for sure. They brought night time with them, which is my favorite part of Pop 1, actually. Mine, too. Very much so. Uh, and it goes really well with my witch's outfit today. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to jump in to do this interview. It Miguel was a little bit frantic uh, just because Sir. I was trying to set everything up last minute. Ha, 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 ha. Um, I so have right. like, yeah, I have the little baby who we dress up in Pop One skins, who we were actually busy dressing him up in his skin when I looked at my phone and I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, bless. Uh, I know. So um, we're going to run this as typical, as usual, and uh, run through lots of fun questions, play a little game, uh, and get to know you a little bit better, your Population One experience, and you as a person. Miguel so, one nine nine eight eight. you ready to get going? Said. Let's do it. Yeah, Why not? You let's go. Perfect. Okay. So let's talk about, real quick, um, where can we find you online? So, best place to find me online is Twitch for streaming mm -hmm. and um, Miguel one nine nine eight eight. anything else like um, to contact an to actual help, like, good with streamer. anything that I do like. Cough, uh, cough isn't this the second of the day? Help with is usually on Discord. Uh -huh. So, uh, I, I can't even memorize my Twitch. I'm so bad at like streaming. <laughs> but it's, it's basically the same name, it's Papillon de Fur. The same name. So, I'm going to get like awkwardly close for you here. Hang on just a second. Okay, here we go, guys. How you can find her on Twitch? We're kind of almost kissing. <laughs> <laughs> and Was she she down for a second. <laughs> <laughs> she explained to me how to pronounce this as well, so that we don't slaughter names. I want to help uh, everybody read this off because for us it looks like Papillon. Uh, it is not the dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is Papillon? Is that correct? That's correct. Papillon. Correct. Yeah. P a p i l l o n. D E F E 
R on Twitch. So you guys can check out this content. Make sure she is live right now. So go ahead and go share some love. Um, you know how that's how I like to run my streams here is it's about the person that's standing in front of me. So um, let's talk about where you are located. So I'm in uh, Middle England, so UK, um, and pretty much live in a very, well, not pretty much, I live in a very rural place where there's about 140 people. So extremely small village. Yeah, it but sounds you wouldn't like even it. Think, you wouldn't even think VR would come to our village, never mind things like electric to run computers and things like that. It's so backwards. Okay. Well, I'm glad that VR has found you because a lot of people enjoy your content and they enjoy your gameplay. Um, you have come uh, as a recommendation. Get you on here. Do this interview for her. Please get her on there. So you have a lot of fans out there. So that's to be recognized um, that I'm glad that you live in such a small area and you brought VR to your uh, area. And I hope that everybody in that small community starts to know what it is too. Share it out. <laughs> they are doing they're soon getting the hang of it <laughs> nice <laughs> all right let's talk about um outside of playing pop one is there something that you do um outside of pop one what is your like what do you do for a living so for a living i actually work in vr which um came around as i bought the oculus 2 uh sorry oculus quest 2 headset um so completely by default it was never meant to happen I um, had never VR'd, gamed or anything before. Oh, wow. Um, and bought the headset purely for work and then found myself over the next sort of like 12 to 16 months just finding work in VR. So working alongside certain companies that uh, make certain headsets. Um, oh, cool. And run management and leadership programs so through virtual reality to the automotive industry. Okay, so like on that subject, what is like the coolest upcoming thing that you know about? Can you share? Uh, I can't share too much okay, that okay. I know about, but mainly I'm not on the technical side. Everyone thinks because I work in VR, it's like it's all the technical side. It's really not. I'm so bad at tech. <laughs> so my. I don't even know. <laughs> honestly, I don't even know how I stream. And some of <laughs> honestly, my, me um... too. I had the blue screen right <laughs> as I was going live. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tragic with technology, and any one of my um, gaming friends and VR friends that know me very well know that that's absolutely true. But I'm more on the soft skill side. Okay. So the tech side people help me with just getting where I need to be and then I deliver the soft skills very cool there is a lot of programs coming out um, things like cyberbullying harassment and yeah. um, sex education sex and relationships in VR so there's lots of programs like that that you'll see coming out that are not pop one specific great, or game great. specific but just general VR. But um, human relation, well yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, great content for uh, businesses as uh, we see VR coming out, getting closer to all the businesses out there. Um, COVID kind of instructed some of that as we all started working from home and it became wider known and uh, heavier utilized. So these programs and stuff that you know about, I'm glad that they're coming out. I also work in HR, so those things are very important to me um, just for, yeah. you know, Common knowledge for everyone around us, times have changed and we do treat people differently. It's not so much about the harassment and the bullying, it's more about the people to people relations and uh, just yeah. enjoying each other as human beings. We have a great world out here and uh, this game is part of that world. We get to talk to people across the world <laughs> that we would never touch in our normal day to day. This has brought in such an immense amount of fun and um, socialism that I'm just, I love. So um, I'm excited awesome. for the work that you're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's um, good. It, does have some, it does have some HR content in there actually as well, learning and development and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's, um, you know, we started with sort of websites and social media and we never kind of really got our head around that before VR came out. Okay. And now we're landed with all the the problems but problems that could exist with vr so it's nice to be in there early and trying to make that difference you know okay. so everyone enjoys it perfect let's talk a little bit about your population one experience when did you start playing this lovely game 
Um, I got the game the day that it was released. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, depends. But, um, uh, you've seen the yeah. evolution of it. So um, it depends, I think, in your opinion. So, um, like, yeah, I played, you've seen I don't it know, from the very beginning two. when we had, like, what, snow and none of this stuff. It was very uh, a blank slate, sort of. Yeah, I remember Cliffside. Was it Cliffside? Which yeah. is now yeah yeah so um I, I got it day one and fell in love with it straight away like um, me and a friend actually like a real life friend um once i bought the headset for work and said to her you know there's all these different games that you can play on there and stuff like that and then she recommended pop one and said oh this is meant to be awesome we both got it mm -hmm. both went in and just played together and we played because then we didn't stream we didn't have all the accessories that you buy along the way so the battery would only last for two hours, right? So mm -hmm. we'd play our two hours, plug it in ready for the next day. So um, we went like that for a couple of months, yeah. So pretty much played every single day for at least two hours up until uh, about four or five months ago where I had like a four month break. Okay, all right. Lovely. Well, um, if you guys are just joining right now, as my interview is getting started with Papillon, I'm going to call her Pap from now because uh, I know I'm going to slaughter the name again. <laughs> um, <laughs> make sure you say hello in chat and I will let her know that you are here watching and a fan. Don't forget to do those likes, follows and shares. She's live right now over on Twitch. It's very important to share her content out. That's the purpose of you guys jumping in here to see who I'm interviewing and to like and follow that content. Um, let's talk about that name. Papillon de Fure. What does that name mean to you? Where did you come up with it? So Papillon de Fure means the iron butterfly in French. Um, and the story behind it is, so in my previous hobbies, before way before VR, um, I was into horses and I used to event ride. So dressage, show jumping and cross country. Mm -hmm. And I used to take ex race horses on rehabilitation projects. Ooh. So they weren't quite good enough for the track or fast enough. So I would take them in and then retrain their brain um, into different disciplines. So it might be a companion pony, it might be a competition pony. Um, and I got this one horse that just had all of the qualities and had been overlooked in racing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I kept him, worked with him, trained him, and competed him. And he reminded me very much of something that was super delicate, but super strong. And I was searching for a name for him, a competition name, for, for months. And I came up with um, the Papillon de Fur, which is the Iron Butterfly, because he was just super strong, but also very sensitive and very delicate. And once I got a relationship and rapport with this particular horse... I actually realized that it was like a mirror image of myself so i'm oh. super strong but also on the other side like super delicate and, and sensitive as well and i thought that really suits me so i'll be tattooed it's been my tag name for everything all my socials for years That's so yeah beautiful so, but it's quite it's quite funny when i come in a lobby um, yeah. and i see the french players and they're like oh the puppy on defer, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't <laughs> speak a word of French. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are saying, but I love it. <laughs> I love yeah, the sound of French, it. <laughs> fake French. <laughs> awesome. Well, I appreciate that. That's why I asked the question. It's one of my favorite questions just because uh, sometimes it's just a person's name, but sometimes there's such a meaning behind it or such a history to it that uh, it really describes you as a, a person. So um, let's talk about... What level are you? If you've been playing since the beginning, I don't know how often you play, which is part of what level you are, but uh, what level are you currently? I'm just coming up to level 61. So I had like four months off. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was going through my phase of being really involved in the, in the competitive community, I was always playing in custom lobbies. So mm -hmm. obviously you don't get XP and things like that, which is why I think you see some really, you know, quite low level players like in their 40s and 50s. Yeah. But actually, they're extremely good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and people associate that they're still quite low level. And it's like, no, probably not. They've just uh -huh. probably spent months in, 
<laughs> so, um, this is their second yeah, so, and third account. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So uh -huh. yeah, I'm just coming up to level 61. Okay, well, congratulations on that. I'm not quite to 60, took a long, long break. Um, and I can't wait to, I mean, everybody already has their golden PJ, but that's going to be a special moment for me too. So, um, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. We've got to, by the way, the bearded goat is in my chat and he's just saying absolutely amazing member of the pop one community. She's a great host. So, um, I love yeah. it. A legend. <laughs> yeah, a legend. I met him really early on as well, actually. Yeah. And, uh, Miss Misery is here watching as well. We have several others, but they haven't shared who they are yet. So we'll wait to they, till they put something into chat and I will let you know who's here. Um, no okay. So uh, let's talk about uh, clans. Are you currently in a clan? No, I'm not. I've okay. I've been part of dabbled, shall I say? Mm -hmm. Um, and I actually worked out quite early on that I'm a bit of an odd human being, you know, tipsy. Like, oh, I'm odd I just too. don't. <laughs> yeah, like I just don't belong in a tag like that. Like, I love the fact that you can belong to a clan and be part of like a, a community of really good people. Sure. But, you know, we're thrown together. Like you choose to be together hey, if you listen. have a friends list. When you're in a clan, you're kind of thrown together. You yep. don't really have too much of a say who they are. So you're not always gonna get on and things like that. And I'm quite outspoken as the community quite well knows. Um, and sometimes, you know, it just clashes. So. Do I belong in a clan? Absolutely not. And I like not having three letters in front of my name and just being pap to fur, you know? Uh-huh, so, yep. No, I'm, I'm on the same page the clan, with you there. <laughs> yeah, I've had lots like of uh, requests and lots of asks of uh, many different clans and surprises, actually, people asking me. And I'm just like, I, I really feel like... Uh, me in this situation doing interviews um most important for me is to stay unbiased and neutral and if i have a tag yeah. above my name saying that i'm with you know a certain clan you may not like that tag and you might instantly yeah. say no i don't want you to interview me no thanks <laughs> so yeah. and i am a true and, weirdo kind of person <laughs> and, there's, and there's some really good clans out there and some oh, not sure. good clans out there and you know like Early on when we were figuring all this out, when clans first came around and stuff, you know, you're going to trip across the best and the worst experiences. And I think I've really experienced both, the best and the worst. Definitely. And it's like, oh, my God, I just don't want to touch it. Do I have anything against clans and, and competitive clans and stuff like that and community clans? Absolutely not. I think there's a place for it, 100%. It's just not for me. Yep. And everybody's saying hi. I love her. I miss her. Tell her hi. We've got Kai Jelly. We've got Sloth. We've got Michael David Garcia. Uh, lots of people popping in now, just Aww. making sure they want to say hello. We love you. You are awesome. <laughs> um, oh, they're lovely people. They're lovely people. I'm curious. Uh, do you play in tournaments? Um, I don't anymore. I did. Um, I got involved actually with competitive play quite early on when Mob, Mob Toyco first sort of like launched okay. um, and tried to really understand that competitive scene and I suppose followed that through right up until now um, I'm, I'm co-running with um, Super Nugs who used to be Amiga mm -hmm. um, the PPC EU so we, we realised that um, there's not much out there for EU players, and we're a limited bunch, you know, like, the, it's not like we've got 150 teams. We've probably got 30, 35 teams at best. Mm -hmm. yep. So we could never get anything on our t time, so I was always finding myself playing at 2 a.m. in the morning, which is never good for anyone. Um, so competitive play was never really any good for me, and I wasn't dedicated enough to put the time into to do any good, but I got to purple division in ARC. I was quite happy with that. Um, you know, for I'm not someone that's like Tech Nine Junior flinging myself all over the place. You know, I'm quite delicate in the old hips and knees at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So um, I was quite happy with Purple Division anyway, and I played with some great players. That was really cool. But now I prefer to try and organise and help other people have fun and have a go at it. Sure. So yeah, okay. so I'm cu cu currently still involved in comp, but 
not in the hardcore stuff. We just took ourselves away and keep ourselves out of the loop. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Well, let's talk about um, the, where you brought me to the map. The question uh, before we start the interview is always to my folks, where is your favorite spot? Because that's where I like to start the interview. Hey, and uh, you had mentioned a spot in Metropolis. Let's talk about that spot. Where is it that you like? Yeah, so it is. Oh, I don't know if you can see that ping right at the back there. In the back by the tower? Right at the back. Yeah, right at the back of the tower, like the okay. furthest building away in Metro, the highest okay. part. And I love it because when you stand on top of it and you face backwards, you can see the whole map. I didn't and know that. Yeah, okay. and especially at night time, it's, re it's insane. Really so something. Okay. I, that is my favorite part but because i was running late it was like actually let's let's ditch it and this is my second favorite part of the map mm -hmm. because here when on the, the load, game loading spot yeah when the game first came out this was our loading spot mm -hmm. um so this was you know the places where we'd spawn into and i remember i remember so it's where i met reaper yeah <laughs> yeah it is where so i met my other half conversations <laughs> and also where you spawn just over there, where the little house is, yep. uh, just mm -hmm. in, like behind the guns. We used to call that the kebab shop on Friday night. So we'd get super drunk. <laughs> uh -huh. We'd come in and we'd all join in there and we'd all have like what we called our virtual reality kebab. Oh, nice. I, I didn't get to partake yeah. in that. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, lady? What is up, Snipes? Thanks for joining. She helped me teach. Uh, she helped teach me pop one, Wesley Snipes. So oh, you, Wesley, you are yes, a legend. I know. God, I remember those training days. Wow, God, Wesley. <laughs> That's going back a bit. Right. Uh, so let's talk about the map real quick, and I'm going to pull it up here next to you. Yeah. Um, if there okay. is a spot on the map that you could ask Big Box to wipe away and put something Ooh. else there, what would you get rid of and what would you place, put in place? Oh, dear. So, okay, this is quite a controversial one. I quite like this because a lot of people would say right now, just change the whole map, right? They're all bored with it okay. or whatever it might be. Yep. I actually really enjoy the map. Um, I think there's an there's just a good nostalgia about it for me. Um, mm -hmm. Metro was probably too much of a change okay. for me, I think. But if we was to go really out there, and I know this was talked about a long, long, long time ago before Facebook took over big box was um a connecting train into another map so what i'd like to Ooh. see is the train at frontier mm -hmm. last two teams it transports you into another map which is a final enzo map and uh -huh. you fight it out there nice. i think that would just be like something super cool yeah that's serious and then like they could if that worked out they could use the uh, dead river to do kind of the same thing uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Dead, Ri Dead River um, is a bit boring and it's a bit plain, and they could put something there, I guess. But oh, I do sure. quite like those open spots where, you know, I, I got caught out last night um, trying to make my way from uh, construction over to cemetery and found myself in, you know, open space. And I'm getting absolutely spanked. But you know what? My strategy was all wrong. I read it wrong. I read the map. I read all my enemies wrong, and it's a lesson. So I actually think Dead River's there for a reason, you know? It makes us okay. better. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I would have... Yeah, I don't like the Dead River. I, I wish they would do something with it, but now I maybe need to think a little more critically. <laughs> a beach right. would be nice there. I think a Ooh, beach would be nice. I think that would be nice. There's been a lot of asks for water, even if it's just, like, flat water to walk on. Um, there's yeah. been a lot of asks for water in some sort, so... Um, they have yeah, a lot of cool. places they could go with it. All right. Um, are you familiar with my interviews? Have you ever seen one start to start to finish? Not start to finish. I haven't. Okay. No, I've dipped in and dipped out. I did see okay. one with Salt Killer Gaming, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And somebody needs to tag her. She she was one of the people that wanted pop in here. So I haven't seen her pop into the stream yet. Make sure you guys oh, uh, message Salt, Salt Killer and let her know we are doing this because hey, she's going to watch it again <laughs> anyway. But uh, yeah. What is up, CJ? I've got Pap here. Um, you guys can watch her. She is live right now on Twitch. We're about to play the weapons loadout game. So I'm going to start a match. We're going to have open chat. You're going to pick okay. your favorite loadout. If you could come upon any weapon that is your favorite, your um, health items, your shield items, everything that you would have in a perfect wheel, 
That's what yeah. you're going to load up okay. with. My well, job good. is I'm going to go guess what you play with. Oh, and okay. I'm going to try and see if I can guess what your loadout is. I got to be honest. Okay. Absolutely, I don't know. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what your loadout is. I don't. <laughs> I've, I've watched That's some good. games. I've heard you talk about a couple of weapons, but I haven't gone in depth to the point where I know what you like and use because it seems to be like you hot drop, you grab something, you use it, you change it out. And I'm like, oh, for good sakes, how am I supposed to guess this? <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to go into this match and this is going to okay. be a wild goose hunt, you guys. Um, Pap is going to load up with her favorites. I'm going to load up with what I think she's going to pick and then we'll meet in a place where we can see how bad I did. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's have a look. All right. Let me pod out here and get some space then so I can go and find something. Uh, what would be more fitting than a witch at the witch's tower, right? Right, guys? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to um, overall guess. I'm going to kind of talk about what I'm doing and uh, just not give it away completely. It is a beautiful gold MK, but I'm not going with it. <laughs> Let's see here. Do I think she mm. uses? No, I don't think that's one of them. But I do think yeah. this is probably a yes. Instead of these guys, um, I've seen her use them, but I think this is a preference here. Let's see here. Do I think these are going to be a choice? Not sure yet. Not sure yet. Okay. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, yes. Oh, by the way, I have fling on. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. I just took myself in the air and I was like, uh -huh. oh, hello. <laughs> there's another. Oh, there's all my backpacks. So we're good on backpacks. Now we just have to find your weapons. I think I have figured out your heels. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I feel like Pep might like a one of these and not one of those. So we're going to go with those. Here we go. There's a beautiful CX-4 for uh, those of you that like the gun. A lot more talk about the CX-4 lately. Um, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. It used to be my comfort weapon when I first started. I'm struggling here to find my weapon. Uh, I don't know that this is it. Uh, you know, um, let me see here. Um, I'm going to stick with it just because. I'm going to go with, uh, let's see here. You know that one I found okay. with Brad Fox earlier? It took me forever. That's the one I'm going to find. I'm going to find that one. Oh, is that one? Okay. Oh, that's not. I'm good. Okay. I found it. All right. Well, you can just pop around for a moment because I'm still shopping. Okay. No problem. <laughs> oh, Is there a God. place where you want me to meet you? Uh, depends on how hey, quickly I listen. find this and load it out. <laughs> um, I'll switch this out just because this one's prettier. And let's see. I have to also guess up upon a nades or zones if she chooses either. Really no luck here in Kingdom. I kind of just want to, you know, hop out to... We're going to go out that. here to Plains. Or maybe the front of Kingdom. Hey, they usually have some good stuff out here. Oh, no. Right ammo, wrong weapon. <laughs> All right. That's just another wrong weapon. All right, making my way across Plains, Pap. I think I'm going to head towards Tower. Actually, there's a drop. Oh, that's way the heck over there, though. Uh, oh, yeah, I see you hiding right behind that rock. You. Creepy. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> it's super Spider. creepy. <laughs> She's coming after me. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. I'll go to the left. Okay. 
And then I can't see what you're picking up, so I can change it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's sneaky too. Okay. All right. I smell ya. That's how we're going to play. Okay. Wow. Like... I'm really looking for a specific item, and what's funny is, is I struggled finding it earlier in my Rad Fox interview. I don't know why they're so scarce, but, uh, like, I feel like these are really hard to find. But we got it. Okay, I have, uh, one more item that I want to pick up. I mean... I hear you walking around. It's creeping. It's really creeping me out. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm just here. <laughs> Let's do. Ah, there's some right there. I wanted to pick these up. I think that these are something that she enjoys. Um, and maybe, I think I I don't know about this one, you guys. I don't think that this is a choice of hers. So I think I want to replace it with maybe um one other item. I'm almost ready. All right. Okay, no worries. No rush. All right. I feel pretty confident with this loadout, you guys. I'm not super sure, but I do feel like maybe this is doubled up. We'll see. If it's not, uh, it's okay. Because I'm guessing from uh, nothing. I'm literally guessing from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pap. I'm about to pop out of the inside of tower to come find you. Uh, it looks like okay. I'm over by the... Oh, there you I'm are. Look here. at that. That was super creepy. God, you're creepy. <laughs> 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 Did you guys see that? It came out and she was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right, let me, let me just do that. That's okay, it. There okay. we go. I'm back. Okay. Here okay. we go. So... I didn't select a samurai, which is usually the first item that I select from. I did not because I did not see you carrying it around in the videos that I watched and when you played with others. So that's usually my first drop. But my first drop for you is going to be bananas, not soda cans. Do you have bananas in your group? I did Yay! indeed. Phew, I got at least one right, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next item I grabbed uh, for shield. You know, I went with shakers instead of the cans. Your thoughts? Mm -hmm. So uh, my preference is cans. Cans. Okay. But I will. But I will pick up both. Okay. Okay. So my yeah. I my, actually my had the idea of the cans first, and then I switched it to shield. So I feel okay about that. I'll always, if I put, see shield, like shield shakers first, I'll pick mm -hmm. up as many as I can. And if I get three and then I see four uh, cans, I'll mm -hmm. swap them out and take swap the cans. I prefer the cans. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And are you a quick popper too? Are you one of the people that are just like, plop, 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 plop? Well, I'm just getting used to the index. I've just swapped over to the index. So it's okay. like oh, like learning the game all over again. So at the moment, I'm very slow. But on the Oculus, yeah, I was pretty quick with them. I was okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Perfect. Let's get to the next items that I picked up. Uh, let's see. I went with nades. Do you have nades in your party house? I do, indeed. Yay. Okay, well, here's where I went a little tricky. I actually did, and I wasn't sure, double the nades. What do you think? Eh? Okay, so no? you're not wrong. You're okay. not wrong. Late game... I would drop one of my third weapons for extra nades. Okay. Um, as you come closer to end zone, but at the beginning of the game, I wouldn't pick up four nades. I'd pick up two. Okay. So All right. So you're not so you're not wrong. There's just a twist to it. I feel like that twist is a win for me. I'll go with that. Absolutely. Let's talk about weapons. <laughs> now you must have three weapons in hand. I only have two because I did double up on the nades. So uh, the first one I grabbed was the RFB. Correct. Yay. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, the next one I grabbed, and my last item, is the DT. Correct. Oh, hey. Look at that, guys. Okay. <laughs> what is the item that I'm missing? An the op. op. Okay. Tell me about the op, because I haven't seen you uh, use too much of any snipers, so talk to me about that. So the the orb is um, probably I've been picking that. I'd never picked it up early on, and I found it an extremely clunky weapon to just get the hang of. 
and I didn't like it. I just didn't feel it was like nice in the game. Uh-huh. And then I had a mini break around February time. And mini break, like became... mental break? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, like, away, no, away in my camper van and stuff and took some time out. And yeah. then when I came back to the game, I was like, um, Seiko's were on fire still and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get my head around these snipers. So I just went and practiced, practiced, practiced with them in bots, combat trial and stuff like that. Then when the uh-huh. training part came out, um, and then I just started to love the sniper. So if I can pick up a sniper, even a one star, I'll pick it every game. Perfect. I had that same yeah. thought about the snipers. I was very shy in the beginning and then just said, screw it. I'm picking it up. I'm using it. I'm not the yeah. greatest at the op, but I seem to be getting uh, really good with the Seiko for some reason. So um, I don't know if that's maybe my uh, weapon that I haven't you know, realized is my weapon, but uh, every time I pick it up lately, I've been hitting it, so, hey. <laughs> I, lo- I, lo- I love the AWP, and what I was finding was on things like, you know, like when people look at stats or lining themselves up against um, their, you know, their, their teams, Yeah. and if they were having, like, lower damage, it was probably because they weren't using the MAG, the, the Seiko, the AWP, and things like that, so they were getting, you know, two, three hundred damage a game. Absolutely. And not really so like the sevens to fifteen hundred that their teammates were getting. What I found the second I picked the AWP up was um that the damage points started to come. So I thought, mm. you know what, actually, yeah, and it contributes to a team as well, like a support weapon, um, when you've got like, you know, a mid and a push or something like that, like it exactly. works quite well. Okay. Yeah, so I quite like it. I'm really enjoying it. Okay. What's up, Atheist? Hello, Brent. Hello, Riley. Thanks for joining. I am interviewing Papillon de Fur. Uh, she is also live on Twitch. We just did the weapons loadout game, and she chose the UP, uh, the DT, the RFB, some nades, bananas, cans, and that's her loadout. And the last part about the loadout game is one last thing. Do you know what it is? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm sorry oh. about that. I forgot about that bit. <laughs> Salt, you should have been in here. You could have warned her. I know. <laughs> she did me dirty there, chat. She uh-huh. did me dirty. Hey, hey. Southern Belle, how are you doing? I only get to kill the greatest streamers, the greatest players <laughs> in fun. one way, and that's if I interview them. So <laughs> I definitely am taking advantage of that. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Yep. You know what I love about uh, the custom rooms? It always drops you back into the same kind of custom room. So we're going to have nighttime this whole interview. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's my favorite. Uh-huh. It's so good. I just wish they'd leave it on, you know. Yeah. I just thought, or have a choice. Um, I know oh yeah, if you run customs servers, to but... select nighttime or something. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah in pub servers it's impossible, I think, but definitely customs. Yeah, I love nighttime. Anyways, okay, well let's talk about the weapons around us. So we played the weapon loadout game. Let's talk about. Do you know any secrets? You've been playing this for quite a while. You must know some secrets about any weapons that you can teach me. Um, let me maybe think. one. Well, we had the DT, didn't we? Where like the the big thing was like actually you don't put the bullets in, so that one's gone. Um, the Wait, only do other I know one... that? Hold on. <laughs> where you just grab it. Everyone was slotting the bullets in, weren't they? And it was like okay. a two movement where you can actually reload it in like one fluid movement. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay, it's really hard to see because when yeah. I put the bullets in, you can't see. I can't can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's where you literally just hold the bullets or run. You know your your hand flashes yellow. Yep. Mhm. So actually, let me give you that back. Mhm. So when your hand flashes yellow, just pull back on the bullets and then just quick flick. And it's like one movement instead of two, which takes off like points zero seconds off. Didn't really work. I think I need to practice for sure. <laughs> That's all you need to do. It's hard uh-huh. to see when I do it or you do it because you can't see the actual bullets in the movement. Uh-huh. Um, but I hate but the DT watch... too. This is well known. <laughs> do you? It's, it's yeah. a really good trick. 
Um, and that's one thing I used to do when I used to go in training park was just fire like 200 rounds to get the reload down. Uh, mm -hmm. But like practice one solid movement. The other one actually is the RFB. Uh huh. Yeah. So, tell um, me. I actually like this RFB, weapon. The RFB is also one movement pretty much. So it's up, and so you can just literally yep. flick it. Yep. So um, I know. Thanks for that follow, William. <laughs> on the index, I'm struggling because I don't want to clank my controllers because I know they're oh, expensive. Yeah. So I'm very cautious about how I'm reloading how you're moving at the moment. Your I'm very around. slow okay. until I get a bit more confident. But on the Oculus, um, those reloads I, I find pretty, pretty slick, pretty quick. For sure. Okay. Uh, bring me to the one that you detest. Which one do you wish that like would never appear for you in the game? You hate the most. <laughs> do you, no. I, do you know what? I don't hate. I, I don't hate any gun at all. You don't, Even okay. Like, I'm, I don't. I like. I'm really bad with the PX4 and the 1911. Okay. Um, but when I pick it up, like when we run custom rooms, we do what's called silly bollocks on a Friday. Okay. And it's just a bunch of adults gets together and we do like some fun custom rooms, and I'll put like the the pistols on. And I actually really quite enjoy them, but I won't pick them up in a game. I just don't have the confidence and the trust in them. Sure. Even though I know they're absolutely OP, right? Most of them. <laughs> but do I hate any any weapon? No, I don't. Not even the MK. I know that's getting a lot of grief at the moment, but yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll fight with anything. I tell you what, I'm gonna. I'm, I've told you an absolute lie there. My <laughs> least favorite. I'm gonna give you one. The Matadors. The oh, I, I keep hearing this. Okay, and uh, is it because of the update recently, or is it a specific reason? No, I hated them when they were released with Frontier. I just Frontier. hate that mm -hmm. um, that that dual. Um, you can't. They're just clunky. I feel like you can't climb. I get that they're absolute killers up close, um, but I cannot shoot shit with them. Honestly, <laughs> I can't shoot nothing with them. Now, so tell me, compare them to the um, to the Uzis. Do you feel the same way about those? No, the Uzis I'm actually all right with. Like, I'll pick those up. Like, I'll walk past Matadors, and, and I'd sooner have a knife. Um, okay. Whereas, yeah, Uzis, I'll pick them up. I don't particularly like them. Like, they're not my favorite gun, but I'll fight with them. Okay. I'd sooner, right. I'd sooner die than fight with Matadors. Okay. Well, uh, do you have any weaknesses that would help me kill you? <laughs> oh my god no end how long have you got <laughs> what's the no best end. way that uh, no, a, a non-sweat can sneak up on you and get you <laughs> Friday, Friday nights between 2pm eastern and 6pm eastern uh -huh. um, when I'm deliriously drunk with my friends <laughs> having the best time not paying any attention to anything <laughs> I like and that having more having more fun losing than what we are winning. Okay, so her weakness That's is Fridays, you guys. <laughs> Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, let's talk about your content. So uh, you like to stream and you put your stuff out there so people can watch and view and come in and say hello and chat. Um, why do you stream? So, I, I, God, right. So it started with a headset for work. Mm -hmm. Then I bought Pop One, and and it all started to happen, didn't it? And a friend DC um, underscore OMG had just bought a gaming PC, okay. and basically sold the idea to me and was like, "Oh, it'd be so much fun streaming, blah 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 blah." blah. And he helped me put it all together. It was great. Uh huh. Um, but I didn't really see myself as a streamer. And I'm not actually the best streamer at all. Like, I don't do it to grow a channel. I don't do it to earn any money <clears throat> excuse me i don't do it for the streaming thing that most streamers do and things like channel points and stuff at the end of a stream i'll always re like redeem back to them refund back sure to them. um so i stream for different purposes and what that purpose is, is is just to have a little laugh meet new people and you know maybe i can help somebody like i've met some beautiful people through streaming mm -hmm. um in this game and many other games and different content and um, I think sometimes like, it could just cheer someone's day up or if I'm just feeling like I want to play solo, like I want to play a game on my own, but I don't want to be on my own. So I want to be sociable, but on my terms. Oh, I like I that. Can in, I can come into this game, go into something like Team Deathmatch, but still have my chat to be sociable with. But I don't yeah. have to perform mm -hmm. with a team. 
I like that. So, and then like you're you're you can even mute yourself in that kind of environment, yeah. play hard and still keep the talking up. I like that. Yeah. And it's lovely. Like you know, I've got some lovely friends that I've met through streaming and stuff. So I I do it completely different. Um to, to other people and the reason why I originally originally set up the stream was to try and do a community stream okay. but I didn't realize all of the implications that came with twitch and you can't actually do that um so I, I thought that you could get like a you know a community of people and all stream through one channel sure. so my my learnings come about that isn't so it is what it is and it's my channel now and it's just what it is but I, I don't do it for any gain at all. Um, I say to people, don't follow and don't subscribe. Like, just come <laughs> here. Just come if you want to come by and say hello. Yeah. And if you don't, I'm really cool with that. I have no problem with it. Awesome. Thank you, Ian, for that like. Hey, Atheist says that uh, you actually got Atheist in the training park uh, shooting all of the weapons. Um, I've heard oh, about awesome. you used to do a lot of training. Um, I've heard about this from many different people is that uh, you are willing or used to be willing, depending on your timing now, um, to bring somebody in and kind of just like run them through the rigmarole of pop one, of the weapons, of getting comfortable with things and kind of giving that nice pep talk of like, it's really not hard. Just keep going. Just keep going. Um, you've been kind of like um, described as that kind of person. Would you say that that's true? Yeah, it's pretty true. I mean, right at the beginning, well, not at the beginning, but sort of six months in and around the anniversary last year, right into Christmas up to about March, April mm -hmm. time, I could have been seeing anywhere between 80 to 200 brand new to pop one players a week, especially mm -hmm. in the busy times like Christmas and stuff. And what I'd do is try and get a full custom room and just walk them through things like, you know, build and back build, build and up build, um, how to peel a banana quickly, inventory load out, you know, best organization, how to quick flick without looking at your wheel, um, climbing, all these just these little fast track bits that get you over the hump of the game so that when you're getting battered, you've actually got a bit of a like a flat line that you can you can progress on rather than sure. just get just get good like what does get good mean mm -hmm. um and exactly then what I'd also that. Do is, <laughs> is put people together and in different communities so like get a take on their personality and be like you know you, have you tried these over here or introduce them to you know like cic i sent them i don't know five six different teams mm -hmm. and they're all still together and they've got a place to live now and they've got a nice community so <clears throat> yeah, I love doing things like that. Like, it, you know, it's fun. Like, and I, I love seeing people um, like want the help as well, because that's nice that they, they ask for it. Very good. OK, um, let's talk a little bit about your teammates. How do you choose who you play with? Um, does that include uh, playing with noobs and playing with the youth of Pop One? Yeah, absolutely. I'll play with anybody that is remotely humanly decent. Um, now I'm a banter girl, and I love I love a giggle. I take it way past the line, <laughs> uh -huh, especially uh -huh. on Fridays with my adult <laughs> friends. We get all sexual in the endos, you know what uh -huh. it's like. Um, but you know, with the kids and stuff like that, like I love all their banter and, and the innocence that they bring to it. And they're just some beautiful kids out there. Like RJ Bonnie, for example, like I met right at the beginning. We did a 24-hour charity event. We had about seven thousand dollars, I think it was, on that charity event. Wow! And that kid was just like instrumental to the whole thing. Like his uh -huh. attitude, his enthusiasm. He's just a really cool kid. Um, and I'll play with you know adults, new players. Uh, I prefer to play with new players um, and kids sometimes than I do adults and good players. Uh -huh. Sure, no, sure. <laughs> so, um, but how how I choose my team is. Um, not to be stressy, not to be toxic. We can be toxic amongst ourselves yeah. because we accept that behavior, but um, not nasty or vicious or, you know, rude or anything like that. And right. they've got to have a laugh. Like, yeah, they've got to have mm -hmm. a giggle. Accepting, uh, depending on who you're playing with. Absolutely. Just a different level every yeah. time you pop in and you never know. So you just adjust and be flexible. <laughs> exactly. For exactly sure. That. What is your earliest Pop One skin that you've earned? You've been here since the very beginning, so I'm curious if you've got my favorite. What's oh your earliest God. one? Do you know what? I don't know what the first ones were. There was Wheatley, the Hazes, uh -huh. um, Iris. 
my favorite is the yellow what... haze. I love the yellow yeah, haze. Yeah, yellow mm-hmm. haze is sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got yellow he haze. He was out when I started. I was like just getting into the game. I didn't know if I was going to stick with it, so I passed. And ever since then, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's awful isn't it it's awful <laughs> yes yes feeling. yes and i've been doing the uh early um uh the sandbox and i was doing the sandbox before this last push of the sandbox and uh for those og uh sandbox um testers we got to pick our skin yeah. so you know i'm <laughs> that yellow haze that is me <laughs> oh, for God. sure <laughs> They should just transport it over for you for helping them with sandbox, eh? I know, they right? Just do it. I know, yeah, right? I mean, I am doing all, all of this push of all of these different streamers on their game. Come on, big box, give exactly. me the yellow haze. Just the yellow haze all day. I know. I won't say anything else. I'll just say thank you and keep going. Yeah, I think I think it was all those ones. The hazes, um, the wheat lays, mm-hmm. Iris, I remember being quite early on. Danny. Mm-hmm. I believe mm-hmm, yes. it was quite early on. Yeah, all of those um, gin, all of, all of those ones. Yeah, I can't remember which one was first though. Do you have like, a favorite? You just used to press a button. Uh, I think this one. This, this is one. my favorite. Okay. Hattie is elite. this the elite? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hattie all right. Elite. She comes with a lot of great elite weapons too. You have yeah, the whole package she's, of them. She's really cool. Yeah. And again, it's it's about nostalgia, and this reminds me of when I go camping. It's kind of like I'm in this kind of like rab north face gear and it's like yeah um, it, like walking and hiking and stuff like that so. most like yourself well this is probably yeah, so most like myself it. this is very much like me <laughs> <laughs> watch out world <laughs> uh if big box could make you a skin of your dreams what would you ask them to make you <gasps> oh that's a good question let's have a think about this one <laughs> I think, I think I would go with some kind of, like, horse effect. Ooh, tell me more. Yeah. Tell me, like, what... So I'm thinking a bit like the wolf. You know, we've got, like, uh-huh. Bones Wolfie. Yep. Um, and I'm thinking that could be a horse's head. Mm-hmm. The two front legs could be, obviously, your arms. Yep. And your two back legs. But, like, with a horse's physique and then, like, a tail... Like a nice floaty, like um, almost like a horse like a furry. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a unicorny type thing. Something Ooh, a bit, a bit yeah. out there. I'm down with maybe that. Like that. Maybe, Thanks, maybe Ladybug, them, for popping in here. Funny thing about your name, Ladybug, is uh, that used to be one of my nicknames in real life. <laughs> Ladybug. Uh huh. I used to be called Bug quite often. Um, all right, let's talk about. Um, well, let's just jump into your stats. Do you have those handy? Do you know what? I haven't checked my stats since about March, April. Would you be I curious? I have no <laughs> idea. I I would guess <laughs> I'm on 1.6 kill, 300 average damage, and I'm going to go for 1920 win rate. Okay. That's that was, actually that was like... roughly... Okay. That was roughly where it was when I last looked, I think. And that's somebody who's very self-aware of your gameplay. Like, uh, if you can guess it, and I'd be curious if you checked it, if uh, if you would be accurate, you'd be like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not even I'm not even on Statbot. You know, everyone's on Statbot on... Yeah, um, I'm not either. <laughs> I'm not on Statbot or any of those, but I can have a quick look while we're talking. Um, on Hot Drop uh, 1.1. Um... And the reason why I don't check them is because I've seen some disastrous relationships (laughs) happen in pot one where stats have, you know, drawn a wedge. Damaged them, yes. Yeah, it's damaged that friendship team and the relationship. And I just thought... "Mm, The competitiveness kind of crawls over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never want that to happen. Like, we need to define my teammates and friends by a number. They're so much more than that to me. Yep, agreed. Very good. Yeah. All right. Um, so, if you were brand new today, brand spanking new, what is something mm-hmm. that old Pap would tell new Pap to learn right now? All of the weapons hey, as soon listen. as you can. Get across all of the weapons and hot drop until you can survive. So hot drop oh. 250 hey, times. Listen. Yeah. 
Never, even in the bad places. Never pod, just hot drop, hot drop, hot drop, land on any weapon and fight with every single weapon that you can. Yep, okay, that makes sense. And get, and, and get used to, one, surviving on nothing, and two, being able to le learn the exit plans a little bit quicker. Okay. Um, I wish somebody would have told me or guided me to hot drop more, hot drop more often. Um, I've got to tell you, I was probably a month or two in um, before I started playing with um, Softworm Blanket. And uh, I don't know if you know who he's in. He is in Sin, S-I-N. Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, him and I were regular teammates. And uh, he never, like, I was terrible and he never cared. He always picked me up. He was always carrying my ass yeah. left and right. And he was like, no, we're hot dropping. No, we're hot dropping. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it weren't for him, I do not think that I uh, would be, you know, as pushy as I am now in the game, which um, I have a lot of people to thank for that. But um, yeah. somebody who uh, plays a long time, like you has, um, has been playing for a long time, uh, teaches our newer folks just one thing, one thing here and there, um, so that we can all have that much more fun, you know, to uh, jump in yeah. and play and have somebody to compete against. Um, it was, my other... <laughs> it was Toy, Toyko right at the beginning that did a coaching session for us. And the one thing that resonated was he said, whatever you're really strong at, just uh -huh. keep being strong at it. But whatever you're weak at, hammer uh -huh. it. So I if love you're weak it. at hot drops, hot drop a hundred times, keep dying, let your stats drop, but you'll get better. And nice. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do that. So I did. I picked the Seiko up a hundred times. I picked, you know, uh, the Mag up a hundred times until I got good with it and forced myself. For real? Yeah. So I think, I think there's an element of, in, you know, like um, it works. It does work. Mm -hmm. It's just you've got to be you just got to be prepared to push through that pain barrier of losing. But I'm cool with for that. For sure. I Yeah. And I've uh, I've pushed past that barrier, but I'm still not as good as you guys. So <laughs> it's no, OK. I'm pretty sure you are. I'm pretty sure you are. <laughs> oh, Mac Cheesy. Thanks for that raid, buddy. And hello, honey gun. I am here with Papillon de Fure. She is live on Twitch right now. We're doing the interview thing. We're learning more about her more about her experience in pop one her knowledge i love digging into her brain to kind of get to know her a little better and kind of see what i can pick out to make myself mm -hmm. the, the beast mode that i'm not <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh the rank placement system used to be here i imagine that it's going to peak itself uh again at some point did you yes. like it did you not what were your thoughts about rank placement mm. No, okay. I I personally didn't think it was good for the wider community. Personally, for myself, okay. I don't really give, like, um, a stuff, really, because I'll just go in and play anyway, whether it's rank mode or not. If it's sure. tough, it's tough. If it's easy, it's easy. <laughs> if it's very well skill matched, all the better, great. And I'll, I'll, I'll recognize those games where I can, you know, capitalize or I'm going to get beaten up. Did it deter me from playing yes i took a break at that time for those four months um and listened to what other people were sort of saying and just kept away from the game at that point so personally i wasn't really asked for the wider community i could see it was ruining it and what i would have liked to have seen was and i think a lot of people have said this before opt in opt out or you get a certain amount of games per month that qualify for rank mode. So let's say 20 games a week, 80 games a month, and you play those 80 games with your stack squad to try and get your rank mode. But what that then does is freeze up all those other games to be able to play with the oh. people for fun. Because, you know, I know it's only just a game and we're avatars, but behind the avatars there are human beings and a lot of people were getting ditched on the podium yes. because they weren't good enough. Yep. And again, I saw it happen to loads of different teams and people and it, it just turned them off and they'd never come back to the game and i think uh -huh. that's really sad so that's a very I unique they... way to put it though your idea is one that i haven't heard before i'm sure some people in chat are like oh yeah i've thought of that before but like that's the first time i've heard that to kind of earn your way to rank mode um and yeah. then that that makes sense because those that want to play in rank mode are playing that way so they would hit it, it in no time 
Okay. And you and you get capped at let's say just uh, you know a number eighty games because twenty games is you know not bad for the average person to play each week, even people that are leisure players. Yep. So you still can play your fun games, but it gives you a cap on it, and uh-huh. with that cap then comes you know you you release yourself to go back and play on a Friday night and you know I don't know play as crazy as you want or as pissed as you want or whatever it might be. Yeah. So. I just, <laughs> yeah, I just think, or maybe have a hardcore mode for comp players uh-huh. um, that Call just want to play pure, <laughs> pure sweat, you know, like if they uh-huh. want to do that. But I think they've got to <laughs> think of something a little bit more dynamic than what they have, and I think they'll lose their player base if they bring it well, back. Why don't they, they just put to. sweat mode out there? Yes. <laughs> Call it sweat mode. I mean, it's it's exactly I'd what still it means. Enter it, you know. Yeah. I think I'm a bit sadistic, Tipsy. Honestly, I love getting beaten <laughs> up in this game. It's absolutely <laughs> awesome. I like you. <laughs> Apia, thanks for liking the stream. Hello, Sonia. Hello, Common. Hello, Brittany. Thanks for popping in. If you guys want to say hello to Pap, just say something in chat. I'll let her know that you're here and watching and a fan. Uh, if you want to say thank you to her for something she's done in your pop world, uh, put that in there. I'll share it with her. Yeah. Not a problem. Um, okay. Smiggy's just, Smiggy's just agreeing with me about rank mode, so we're good. Let's get, ah, let's get a union uh-huh, together uh-huh. on Big Box. Let's, let's get a union on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Let's talk about some things about you outside of the game. I want to get to know you a little bit about your, you know, easy favorites. Easy favorites. So, okay. favorite food. <gasps> favorite food has got to be Indian. I love Ooh, Indian food. food. Anything spicy. Yeah, Indian, okay. Mexican. Oh, my God, anything spicy. I'm on board with the Mexican food. My favorite, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay. Yo, thanks for those stars, Chris. I appreciate it. Uh, let's do favorite holiday. Now, holiday means something a little bit different in Europe. Uh, holiday I'm speaking of is in terms of U.S. holidays. And um, they don't have to be a U.S. one that's your favorite, but maybe one that they have in Europe over by you. Um, what would be your favorite celebration day? Do you know what? I'm going to sound like a right boring idiot here, right? I don't really <laughs> celebrate birthdays. I can't stand Christmas, tipsy. I love the Christmas build-up. I love the parties. I love the food and the get-together. I cannot stand the hype. It drives me insane. <laughs> like already in Britain, we've got Christmas adverts out, and we've uh-huh. only just had Halloween, right? Uh-huh. So, the whole hype shit, don't like, I hate, but, 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 I will get involved and I will celebrate. Boxing Day is probably my favourite day. Mm-hmm, Football, mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a little bit of cricket, especially over in Oz. Um, you know, darts, racing, all that kind of stuff. Boxing Day is quite a good day to have, like, a celebration, I think, over here. But yeah, I'll, I'll Perfect. That one. I'll take it. That's a good answer. All right. What about um, if you have time outside of playing Pop 1 and uh, in your busy life, do you get to watch TV? Is there a favorite movie, TV series, something on uh, Netflix or Hulu or something that you may watch, something that you like on TV? Not really. I'm not really a TV or a movie person, but if I'm having like a really chilled Sunday afternoon in the winter, I'll put the log burner on and stick uh, maybe Peep Show or like a comedy, yeah. uh, a little bit inappropriate comedy, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, Monday to Friday, seven days a week, over a month. Uh, Not so it's much. It's always music, always music on in the background, music. yeah. Okay. What kind of music do you like? Anything. Honestly, it varies. I could listen to 1930s Patsy Cline mm-hmm. right up to Wigfield Saturday night, Let's Go Cheese. Nice. I, so okay. varied. Okay. So I like varied. It. I, uh, I'm all over the board in music as well. I just, I can't do country. I just can't do country. I just can't. And you know, I don't mind a bit of country, <laughs> but not the like real, you know, the yeah, yeah, yeah I can't the do twang. that. The twang. I say it's the twang. I can't do the twang. <laughs> Oof. I'm sorry, guys, if you like country and you have to leave me now. And, and, and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, how about furry critters? Do you have any pets? I do, yeah. So I have an 18-year-old Jack Russell um, who is currently in end-of-life care at the moment, bless her. So she's done really well. She's actually sat beside me, um, like, touching my leg right now. I can hear her. Um, so <laughs> she, she's just adorable, like, best mate. Um, 
so you know she's going to be gone soon and then like my dad i'm really close with my dad my dad's like my brother like my best mate so we hang out quite a bit together and he's got um falconry so he's got like hawks and eagles and stuff like that we've got goat we've got sheep uh chickens so yeah so there's a there's a variety of range and then there's like you know like an old pit pony out the back kind of thing who's like we've rescued <laughs> and found a little field for so there's always something to be going on around here oh tipsy did i lose you yeah. did i lose your comms oh no, no are you there I'm, I'm still here i think it's a glitchy hang on let me see if i can see it real quick yeah it is glitchy yeah a little bit glitchy there you go Let's see if that fits okay sorry about that oh glitchy close out this here we go really jumpy glitchy let's see if we can bring it back okay no worries now i can hear you there we go. all right it's time for you yeah that's fine it's a little bit you're a little bit robotic in your voice but i'll work it out I'm, uh, super glitch still stop i'm doing an interview <laughs> <laughs> like she's glitched <laughs> we're doing the robotic I'm coming dance. back in there you are <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> my screen is black <laughs> but uh it sounds like it's coming back give me just a second <laughs> no problem my air link dropped so it, it shit on me <laughs> oh there's nothing worse is there <laughs> I know right so hang on, I know I'm still a black screen on mine, so I'm just gonna wiggle around a little bit here and see if I can get this to fix. I wanna go back into the I'm game. Just gonna, uh... Hmm. I'm glad that it's sticking with our audio, but uh, everybody there in chat, I know that you're watching a black screen right now. Hopefully uh, it reconnects here in just a second. It's always a few seconds behind, isn't it, when it... Um... When it kicks back in. Yeah, when it reconnects. Yeah. But just while you're doing that, I've just checked my stats, and it actually yeah, says sure. inac in inactive, because I don't play as nowhere near as much as what I have been doing, like, usually. Um, what? But here we go, here we go, here, this is how close I was. 20% win rate. Uh-huh. 360 damage and 1.3 kills. So I was pretty much bang on. Okay. It's pretty close. That is but it does say I'm in, But it does say I'm inactive, so that could be inflated and it could be reporting wrong. Yep, could be. Well, okay. Well, it looks like my screen is uh, popping back on, even though my Oculus is a nice black screen. So I'm talking to um, black in front of me, but you're up on my screen. So we're going to keep rolling. Okay. <laughs> Let's do All it. right. All right. So let's talk about... Um, Let's see here. I'm going to guess if I feel like you are a coffee, energy drink, tea, or soda kind of person. And uh, okay. gosh, I, I'm i uh, going to go out there on this one. I never know the answer. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to say coffee. Okay, correct. Coffee in the morning. <gasps> uh-huh. Coffee tea, in the morning, tea in the coffee afternoon. in the evening. Nope, okay. <laughs> beer, beer, early okay. evening, mm -hmm. and wine, late evening. Okay, that's a good match. I like that. And what on Fridays? <laughs> what are we drinking on Fridays? That's that's the beer and wine night. That's, that's the beer, the beer and wine. Yeah, 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 beer and <laughs> wine night. That's solid. Absolutely. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Um, let's talk more about the game. Uh, do you warm up when you're popping into Pop One? Do you warm up? Do you go to the training park? Do you do like a different mode or do you just jump straight into the game? I used to. Um, so like I said, about a year ago when I was like um, playing in ARC, Purple League and, and playing with like good players and I was wanting to just, I suppose challenge myself and just yeah. see like what I could do so yeah I followed all of the normal stuff that you would do like you know across all guns uh, shoot so many rounds training part warm up all the things play solo quite a bit learn to depend on myself these days absolutely not absolutely not I realized it's just a game okay. I couldn't give a monkeys about stats I've had the best games losing <laughs> I'm winning um, and I've got the best content out of losing so um, I know a lot of people say oh it's just a cop out because you're not good but it really isn't honestly like <laughs> I'm just I'm just I have no desire to be good at this game at all um, all I want to do is just uh, use it as my social platform meet my friends um, and come have fun and training parts great for meeting new new players and new people and I'll sometimes pop in and if I'm solo, I'll go and pick up a, a couple of brand new to pot one players and see if we can squad up. But yeah. apart from that, I don't warm up. Okay. No. What about, uh, let's see, I'm going to guess this one. Do I feel like you are a rage quitter? Yes or no? And I'm going to say there's no way. I, I don't think you're a rage quitter. <laughs> no. Are you a rage quitter? I'm definitely not a rage quitter. <laughs> I couldn't I, imagine the it. only one person... <laughs> I rage quitted on was JT Dubs. Okay. And, <laughs> Any reason and the why? Minute, yeah, he was absolutely driving me insane, Tipsy. Insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, if you went left, it was go right. And if I went right, it was why'd you go right? You should go left. It was one of those no win oh, situations. No, no, no. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I have a lot to thank JT Dubs for because, like, he's probably one of the reasons why I'm still in the game, to be fair. Um, <laughs> but. I felt comfortable and I just went, oh, F you, and I just quit out. Done. And then the second I got on the podium, I was like, oh my God, my heart's broken. Like, I feel really bad. I'm sorry. So yeah. we, we got straight into it. We got straight back into a team, but rage quit. My God, no. no. <laughs> I couldn't no, see it. I just couldn't. Not. No, 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 no. I'm too All right. Uh, if there is a favorite streamer of yours to watch, do you pop into other streams? And if you do, who is your favorite one to watch? Yeah, I do. I, I really like to support the, the streaming community. I think, I think the you know, people can be very fickle um, about sticking to their own content and so I like to go and really support other people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, not everyone can gift subs and stuff like that. I'm not saying you should do, but, you know, even if it's just a shout out on my own channel to that or, you know, like gifting a sub here and there or just chatting away in their stream to try and create a little bit of atmosphere. Oh, sure. Um, I'll always support streamers and I pop into anybody's. I don't particularly, like, stick to a certain, like, genre. Mm -hmm. um, but my favorite, my favorite all-time streamer, I think, is Saddest Clown. Oh, nice. I just met him in yeah. the lobby and I said, I'd love to interview you. And he goes, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, yes. Yeah. He's a legend. He's uh -huh. a legend. I uh -huh. love his streams are fun. Um, he's like, he's got so much integrity, uh, that guy. And he's super helpful and just nice, like really nice guy to hang around with. So if, yeah, if I was to pick one, um, then yeah, he, he'd be my number one stream, I think. Awesome. Okay. Um, is there anyone that has helped you uh, become a streamer or helped you with your content, helped you with the techie part of things that you would like to thank? Yeah, DC OMG for um, sort of getting me originally like set up and started. And then Crash lately has been a, a huge tech support. Like he literally is like a tech assistant. Um, and just comes up with the answers very quickly and has helped me because everyone knows who knows me knows I'm shocking. I don't understand one side of tech to the other. Um, <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> so yeah, like those people, um, and then just others that I've spoke to. Like I've been helping VR Dan Dan quite a bit and Salt Killer Gaming. And where I'm knowledgeable about what I've learned, I'll pass on to them. Yeah. And the bits that I'm weak at, I'm finding that they're giving me back. 
so I'm loving this little journey at the moment that um like a, a bit of self learning because we're all helping each other which is quite nice mm -hmm. um which I've never really found before because people like to keep their secrets to themselves because they see you as competition and I really don't see it that way at all like, <laughs> like I, I really don't see it that way at all like I just want to help people if I know the answer I'll help Yep, and, and generally speaking, we have a softer community than other gamers out there, other uh, uh, genres of games. Uh, you could pop into another uh, battle royale or shooting game where our, um, those communities are uh, sharp with each other, and they um, there's a lot of banter, a lot of toxicity. Um, whereas Pop One has that, it's not as strong in that area. It's, it's a lot softer. Um, so... Yeah. It, there's a lot of socializing that goes along with it, and I think that that is uh, quite a difference that becomes attractive to new players. Um, people get intimidated when you go into a game and you get called trash, and then you don't want to play anymore, uh, where that's yeah. still going to happen no matter where there's a game to be played. Uh, this community is a little bit softer, and uh, I think that that is appreciated, which is why we're seeing... Uh, a lot of youth pop in and uh, a lot of different cultures pop in because it's not yeah. so intimidating as other games. Yeah, so. I think you're probably right there. And the other thing I find with um, Pop is people just call it out. Like, yep. you know, we're not afraid to say what we think. And it's not about upsetting someone. No one wants to upset someone or hurt someone. But to say, oi, hang on a minute, rain your bloody neck in. Um, <laughs> Not, you know, it's not right, like, you, you know, stop throwing stones from glass houses or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. I think is pretty acceptable in pop one and we've all learned to, like, do it. But, you know, like everything, some will take offence to that because if you've got a bit of a mouth and you'll say it, oh, they don't like sure. it. Yep. But you know what? I, I'm cool with that as well because I'm not meant to be liked by everybody and I, I'm not going to like everybody. So I'm pretty pretty sweet with that. But, um yeah, I call out quite a bit of stuff as like as I, as I see it, you know cheats and all that kind of stuff that I've got evidence <laughs> for. Um, all right. But I won't brand somebody. But I won't brand somebody a cheat or anything like that. But yeah, the game is pretty soft and it yep. is pretty. Um, but it's quite nice and I think you're right. There is a social element to it where everybody gets involved and has their own little cliques and communities and you're welcome here but not here and yep. life isn't it? It's just like living real life, isn't it? I know I like it. It it keeps me coming back. So I I am glad that it's not like Call of Duty, <laughs> or <laughs> I mean sometimes even Fortnite. I mean there's there's some games out there that are played that are uh, quite uh, uh, toxic <laughs> or difficult mm. to join as a new player. So um, yeah, I think huge. this community Echo, is doing Echo great. Echo Arena, Jesus Christ, Echo. Uh -huh. is Man, I, <laughs> I don't like, even go tough. in that game. <laughs> The only, the only one thing I think where we probably let ourselves down with is, yes, we're a softer community, but when you call someone trash hey, listen. and you, you know, they might just be brand new, right, learning the game, might be two weeks old, that might put that player off. But then on the other hand, you're still whinging about how small the player base is. You uh -huh. can't have both. So if your player base is small, which it is, and matchmaking's not the greatest at the moment. Um, you know, it recycles the lobbies. I see the same people last night when I played in and mm -hmm. out of the lobbies, the same people. So you can't say big box have to do something, but then be over here and be like, oh, you're bloody trash and you're shit and you should get off the game. The two don't go hand in hand. So what I'd say is as a player, the next time you go to open your mouth and that wants to come out, just think about the fact that you're diminishing your own game that you enjoy. Exactly. No, very well put. All right. Ooh, I've got a question for you that I think is the <gasps> hottest question on the list. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. All right. I need to know. It's very important, and so does chat. We all need to know. Thong, granny panties, or commando when you're playing Pop 1? Okay, depends what day it is. Ah. Right now, it's Monday, and I've got <laughs> granny pants on. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> by Wednesday, it'll be a thong. Uh -huh, and by uh -huh. Friday, ooh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the breeze is around. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, 
Woo! Let's talk about the stuff that I I just never get. And obviously it shows that I never get because like I still make mistakes every day when I'm I'm loading up my stream, I do something wrong. Let's talk about the technical side of streaming. Uh, share with me, what is your stream setup, your programs, your surroundings? And it can be as simple as uh, you were sharing you use Index. Do you use a green screen? Like what programs are you using? Um, share okay. a little bit about that stuff. So um, I've got a self-built um, office that I work in outside in the garden. So it's away from the house and I've got some kind of disparity to, to living and then like working and, and stuff. And for eight months, I kept thinking I shouldn't really be playing in the house because it's just too easy, <laughs> right, to go put the headset on, play all night, fall asleep on the sofa, wake up, continue <laughs> and repeat. So I thought I need to separate it like I do my work and my living space. So um, I, I very recently um, created a, like a studio. So I've got all my monitors now. I've got f uh, three monitors now mm -hmm. um, set up. Um, my computer, all of the cables, I've got a pulley system on the ceiling for the uh, Oculus and for the Index. Um, it's comfortable, I've got like a sofa in the back, I've got a beer fridge beside me, I've got a wine rack, I've got a coffee making area, uh, dog bed, heating, like a log burner. Um, so I've got everything that I need and mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's <laughs> like I'm really grateful and, and, and it's very plush, yes I'm lucky. Um, but what I'm finding is I'm spending 10% in the house and 90% now out here in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I run my programs through OBS. I was on slobs and then um, I can't remember who it was, explained the difference and it just sounded good. I was sold. I'm a salesman's dream, me. And I moved <laughs> over to OBS. Um, okay. And I found that that's slicker. Um, what else am I using? Um... I've just revamped my stream actually because I really let it go and what I found really worked for fun purposes right at the beginning was wreck my game on a Friday so wreck my game was just like really cheap channel points for you to just come in and completely obliterate me so anything went and what I've done is I've worked out how to uh, get different video footage on their imagery and sounds and now okay. I think I've got about 35 to 40 channel points so at the moment I'm going through a learning curve of how to do things like Smiggy's done on his, like he's got all these weird and wonderful sounds mm -hmm. um, on his stream. And I'm like, oh my God, how do you do that? I might not necessarily want to do it, but to learn it is like really cool. Agreed, so, yep. Yeah, so I'm just going through all of that at the moment. Um, and yeah, just like I've got shout outs now on my um, channel where I can put a shout out on. It brings up a clip of a video of that Twitch or yeah, oh, Twitch fun. streamer. Okay. So th things like that that's like just a little bit different that I'm trying to learn. I'm going to have yeah, to pop oh, into your us. streams more often so that I can uh, play around with everything. <laughs> yeah, it's good fun. Like, it's good fun on a Friday when we're all in a custom room and we're just having it large. Yeah. Um, it gets carnage. Like, you don't want to be in my headset. It's absolutely carnage. But <laughs> it's so much fun. Like, we have so much fun. The clips are awesome, yeah, the clips are great fun. <laughs> but like like I say, tech is my worst nightmare, and I wish I could just press a button all the time and everything works. But Have I'm, somebody do I've, it I've for learnt, you. <laughs> yeah, I've learned that I have to learn, right? I just have to bite the bullet, and I've got to learn this stuff. So, yep. And that's thanks to um, a friend of mine, Crash, who I've met in the game, who's just a ledge, just keeps me calm, keeps me, like, level-headed, but just keeps me like moving a little bit as I'm learning stuff and, and stuff. So yeah, it's good. It's good. So perfect. Good. All right. We, we all have to make that decision when we start up a game, hot drop or pod. So tell me, how do you make that decision? Hot drop or pod? Okay. So for me, uh, first thing I do is open my map now. Um, and I look to see whether I'm on the good side or the not so good side and I'll make a call there. So I've usually made it before I get to the electric gate, yep. um, and and that's how I'll I'll call a like a a hot drop or um, short pod or a full pod. Sometimes um, we always just pod, and that's generally on a Friday when we're chin wagging, we're having good conversations. When we're, we're what? Chin through. wagging. Chin wagging, yeah. When you, you know when the old chin wags conversation, oh. chin wag. Okay. 
There you I'm go. just learning. There's a new one. <laughs> There's it a is. New one for you. A bit of I British like it. Slang. <laughs> Good old chin wag. Yeah. Okay. Um, Keep going. <laughs> so you, don't, you don't want to be dropping if you're in mid conversation. <laughs> so you pause all the way out the furthest part of the map, and people are like, "Oh, they're campers," and it's like, actually, it's not. It's just a bit too lazy. To station. We just want to chat. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So um, so yeah, that's 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 how I'd call it. And sometimes, just for devilment, especially if I'm playing with a few particular people, I'll call hot drop on the wrong side because I know it's <laughs> going to get us killed and they will rage and it's so much fun to hear them rage <laughs> you make them rage <laughs> yeah, it's oh, great. I love it. uh my fridays are filled with fun i like to do friendship fridays where i have to make a friend with an opponent either on the platform or in in the shooting part of the game where i have to wave my hands and try and get someone to friend me that pisses people off <laughs> yes. So one of my challenges on my channel points is: Have you ever watched the Inbetweeners? I have the not. UK? Have you not? Well, you must watch it. It's, it's hilarious. It's awesome. Okay. In between. Um, in between us, but there's okay. a little bit of a sample from there, and it's called Friends, and it's like, oh, friends, friends, and it's just mocking friendship. <laughs> and one of my channel point sounds is that, and uh, basically what it means is you have to make a friend in the lobby. So, like, last night it got played on my stream. I looked around and I was like, do I know anyone here that I can friend up? And I'm like, no, so I have to act. Like, hey, up, bud, bloody hell. I haven't seen you for ages. How oh are you doing? Oh, my God. God that's <laughs> so you have to, like, pull it off, like, and it uh -huh. works a treat every time. It's so, been yeah. so, so long. You're not on my list anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, my, oh, my whole thing awesome. crashed and I lost you. Like, let's friend up again. <laughs> that's awesome i like it <laughs> try i recommend trying try to make friends with somebody on the platform when you guys uh go onto the platform before you run to hit the pods or jump try waving at somebody and try making friends with them it is so difficult but once in a while you get somebody <laughs> who will wave back at you and they will friend you before they go play <laughs> yeah, it's fun <laughs> it is fun it is oh gosh okay um in your opinion, who is the best pop one player today? Um, can I only pick one? You could pick three, you could pick five, you could pick two. Okay, <laughs> okay, this, this is easy then, okay. okay. So the best pop one players for me are Sadist Clown, Black Knight, um, Jackie fucking Chan, Crash, Skittle, Blanky, Lady Jack, Binti, Kaizen, those kind of people. Okay. And that's because they're, they're very good, um, some of them, but then I've had the best fun with the others. Like, I don't care whether they're good <laughs> players or not, like, the best fun. Perfect. So, yeah, so they're, 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 they'd be on my, like, playlist. That's if, a great if list. I lost, if I lost all of my friends and it was just those on it, I'd be more than happy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, everybody has a moment in Population 1 that uh, just sticks in your head, whether it is the best achievement, uh, a moment that you would want everyone to experience, a person that you met. Uh, do you have a moment in Pop 1 that you want to share with everybody that was just like, I wish everybody experienced this. I think uh, it would be the 24-hour anniversary. Uh, no, sorry, the 24-hour charity gig that we did. Okay. Tell so, me more about what you were doing for the char which charity and stuff like that. We did. It was multiple charities in the end because like, we, we didn't expect to raise that much money, but we raised about $7,000, I think it was, in total. That is amazing. Um, but then what we did, we, we put it across different charities. We were originally doing it for pancreatic ca cancer because um, one of our really good friends, his brother was suffering with it. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like the um, the driver for it. Yeah. But what we did was we scoped out 24 hours of activities. So we had um, Pop One Karaoke, Pop One Swingers Club, <laughs> Pop One Single. Uh, we did Speed Dating Duos in Frontier. Um, <laughs> We did coaching sessions, various different coaching sessions. We did treasure hunt. Uh, we did like death race. 
loads of different things that we did. We did a um, international war, so we had like USA versus UK. We had um, France versus UK. All these different kind of like different game modes going on. And I'm talking July 2021, so well over a year ago. And that was just when we had custom rooms for an hour, right? So every hour we had to reset all of the horrible stumbling blocks. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, not, not these like new functions that we have now. And what it was, everyone, we had a schedule of players that were just going around the clock. Mm -hmm. And then a couple yep. of us that 24 hours. And it just pulled a massive community together, I found. And I met so many cool people. And I it was really good would experience. love to see that happen again. I would definitely be part of that. That sounds like fun. <laughs> it was fun. And we did um, the PPL, which is the uh, Population One Premier League, which was the top players at the time, yep. versus um, the leisure players. So it was like Pop One Adult Tournaments or whatever we called ourselves at the time. Okay. And it was basically... Um, us versus them in like war and stuff like that so the, the the real high level comp teams at the time got involved and spent their time with us uh, which was great fun and Samachi was a big supporter and like raided mm -hmm. on all the different streams it was really really good nice like togetherness of it all so yeah I think everyone should like definitely like um, experience something like that where it's all together it was lovely it was really nice nice okay well Pap, that actually rounds out the end of the interview questions. Um, so I would like to say thank you so much for you being here. Thank yeah. you so much for the time that you shared with us. Uh, getting fine. to know a little bit more about you. Yeah. And then share with us one more time all the places we can find your content. Okay. So you can find me on Twitch, on uh, TikTok. It's all Pappy on Defer. Very easy, the same. Um, Facebook, uh, yep, yeah, saying Papi on Defer. Yeah, yeah, Papi on Defer, Papi on Defer, Papi on Defer. And you can stay on as well if you want. We're just about to head into Witchcast, which is a, a talk show. Uh, so I do like podcasts and talk shows and other various different content as well. Ooh. So we're just off over now. Okay. Um, I'm running five minutes away, but it's fine. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> and we're heading off to Witchcast, uh, Witchcast. So feel free to hop on over and come and see us there as well. Beautiful. Well, I will say uh, goodbye. I don't know if my hands are moving anymore for you. Are they moving it's for fine. you? They're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm frozen, but you're there. That My screen is there and everything looks great. It's just I'm frozen. <laughs> so uh, I will let you go. Um, you guys pop on over to Pap. She is over on Twitch Live right now. Go see what she's all about. Go see what she's getting herself into right now. And then make sure you join her streams. Make sure you do that follow and all those things you guys do so great at. Uh, Pap, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been really yeah. nice chatting to you and getting to know you too. It's been lovely. Yeah. Let's play I hope time, I get huh? to play with you soon. Oh, um, if I could I friend would, you, I'll I friend would. Code. Yeah, I'll friend code you. <laughs> yep, and I, th I think you sent your friend code to me in uh, Twitch, so um, I will plug that in. And uh, if not, we can definitely chat through Discord and get it going. Awesome. Lovely. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Nice to see Have you a good all. one. Time. Bye, Pat. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining the Tipsy Trixie Takeover. I'm stuck here in the lobby because my screen decided to freeze, and that's okay because uh, it's still here and it's still up. We're just going to say goodbye uh, this way. Uh, first, I just want to share with you uh, to join me for another interview right around the corner here at uh, 4.30 Central. So uh, it's coming up in about an hour and a half. If you guys will join me, it's Green Dragon, uh, he, another great player. Uh, he wiped my ass in the lobby last night, um, maybe once or twice. I, it was insane. Uh, great player. So I hope you guys will join me. Um, and I look forward to seeing you there and saying hello and all those likes and follows and shares that you shared with me today. You guys are great. Um, everybody there in chat that I said hello to, or maybe I missed, I apologize. I want to make sure that I get you all. Dark, thank you for liking. And Chris, those 50 stars I think I mentioned, Apaya. Um, you guys are great. So um, I really appreciate it. I'm going to see if there's somebody that uh, I can send you to for more Pop One content. Let's see who's online right now that we can share to. 
How about this lovely man? Um, he's my favorite man in the whole wide world. So if you jump over there, please make sure you like, share the content, hang out for a little bit and say something in chat. Um, I am definitely going to go over there and see how he's doing. And I might jump into his lobby. So hope you enjoy the stream. Catch you guys on the flip side. See you soon.